the life. One day while the light is glowing, I'll be in my castle cold. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a makeup haul video for you guys. And I went to a few different uh, stores. I went to Sephora, I went to MAC, I went to Shoppers Drug Mart, and I went to Walmart. So, I don't know if you guys know, but I am from Canada, and Shoppers Drug Mart is only a Canadian store. But the things that I bought from Shoppers, you can buy at Walmart, um, anywhere where they sell L'Oreal, Maybelline, Rimmel, and all that kind of stuff. Shoppers is considered like an Ulta CBS or a Walgreens. So to start off, I'm going to start off with Sephora. And the first thing I got is the Smith Rosebud. Um, this is a lip balm and I love it. It's, it smells like roses. It's so pretty. But it is a multi-used um, lip balm. You can use it for dry hands, which I've done, and it, my hands were like smoother than a baby's bottom. But, so that's that. The second thing is a Beauty Blender Solid uh, Cleanser. And it looks like that. It's a bar, literally a bar of soap that you just get your Beauty Blender and you just wet it and massage the soap into the thing. So you can use it for your brushes. The one thing I don't like about this is that you pay like 20 bucks for it and it goes so quick. They do have online the actual liquid soap that's like this big and you get two beauty blenders for I think it's $50, which that will be my next purchase. The next thing is the Sephora Airbrush Mist Foundation. I love this. I got it in the color Fawn. I'm wearing it today. Um, this is my second time purchase, purchasing it. It's an aerosol can, so you just spray it. A lot of people don't like spraying it directly on their face. Me personally, I do. I think I get a be better coverage with that. Uh, that being said, you can spray it on a beauty blender, you can spray it on the back of your hand, or you can spray it on a brush. I think the best coverage if you don't like spraying it on your face would be either the beauty blender or the brush. But again, it's the type of coverage you would like. The next thing I got are these two limited editions. They're from Estee Lauder. One is this um, lip, super lip gloss. And it looks like that. If you guys can see the pink in there. Um, it's not as bright as it looks. It comes off to like a very subtle pink, which is gorgeous. Again, it is limited edition, so I don't know if Sephora will still have it. But it is by Estee Lauder. The second thing is a highlighter from them. And that's how it looks there. I love it. I love this highlighter just for the fact that it's not too shimmery or like too much. It's like the perfect highlighter for a natural looking makeup look. Like an everyday highlighter you can use. The second highlighter that I got is from Becca. And it's in the color Moonstone. So that's how it looks. This one I would say is good for fair to medium skin tones. Um, it's very pearly with a little bit of gold shimmer to it. So. In comparison, this one's like more of an everyday. This is like more of a dramatic highlight if you want. So it depends on which highlight you want. Um, the next two things I got are from NARS. And this one is a NARS concealer stick for blemishes. And this is in the medium one custard color. See that? There's like a hair on that. Um, so that's that. And the second one is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And it looks like that. It's like a lipstick applicator. And this one I use for under the eyes to highlight. It's meant, This one really is meant for under the eyes to conceal and stuff like that. And this won't really do anything for your blemishes. And the next thing I got was the Ultra Lip Therapy. So this is like really good for to repair your dry lips. Like depending on where you live and the weather. Like for me right now. In Canada, it's really cold, so my lips have been really chapped and dry, which is really gross. But ever since I bought this, my lips have been doing much better. And then, okay, so this palette here is a tart lip palette, which is stunning. I absolutely love it. I almost wear it every day, which is crazy, but I love it. Just like the colors that you can use is like so pretty. You can use it every day. You can do a natural look. You can do an intense look 
You can pretty much do anything with this with this palette. It's amazing. And I just love the packaging. Like it's so it's so pretty. I like the fact like your fingerprints you can't see, but the back you can. That's the only thing I don't like about that. Now the next product I'm gonna talk to you guys about. So it's kind of a duo, but they're sold separately. Um, I did a video on this product. I did a review, and the review was between the two contour palettes, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Kat Von D. So this is a Kat Von D packaging, and that's the colors. So I love this product. They're very pigmented. It's they're very smooth. They feel like a creamy um, shadow. And they're very blendable, which I do love. The only thing I don't like about that palette is they're not refillable. But again, if you want to see my reviews and my thoughts and what I think between the two palettes, I'll leave a link down below for you guys to see that video. And then the next thing is her brush, the shade to light brush. So that's the contour side and that's the light side. And last but not least from Sephora is the Makeup Forever Give In To Me 50 Shades of Grey collection. So that's how it looks there. And this is how it actually looks. So if you see here, all around here on the pink, it gives you like a little bit of quotes from the movie. So like, yes, sir, Give In To Grey, I like to bite that list, don't resist, Mr. Grey will see you now. And when you open it up, it looks like that. So you have your quad palette, you have a mascara, you have a lipstick, a lip gloss, and a graphic liner, which I love. And that's everything from Sephora. Now, moving on to MAC. I got a few lipsticks from MAC. So the first one is Rebel, and that's how it looks. It's a purple, but it comes off as a cranberry color, which is really pretty. And the next one is Mare, and it's like a mauve pinky brown color, which is stunning. You can this is kind of like a dupe for Brave or like that Kylie Jenner lip. And then I have Sweet and Shower, and it's cream sheen uh lipstick it comes out very sheer on the lips so it's not as pigmented it's a corally color but it's absolutely stunning um and the last lipstick from mac is brave this is literally the kylie jenner lip that everybody rants and raves about it's absolutely stunning a lot of people pair it with whirl and it's just simply gorgeous like it's the gorgeous nude mauve lip color and the last thing I got from MAC is their Cream Sheen Glass Lip Gloss. And it looks like that. That's the packaging. And then that's it's a lip gloss applicator. And it's not as nude as it looks. It comes out more clear with just a hint of nude in it, which is really, really pretty. Okay, so moving on to Shoppers Drug Mart. So again, you can buy these products that I'm going to be showing you at Walmart or wherever they sell these brands in particular. So the first one is by L'Oreal and it's in the color 600 Nude. And it's a baby pink. You see that? Like, I've swatched this and it's very um, sheer. It's like kind of like the perfect lipstick for like a no kind of makeup look but you want that lipstick on. And it just gives you that hint of pink underneath. It's really, really pretty. Or if you're doing a, a look that you want to have that little bit of highlight in the center of your lips. Perfect color to do so. Next one is Rimmel. And it's 102. And it's like a mauve pink as well, which is really pretty. I love this color. And then I got three lipsticks from Maybelline. And they are the new Vivid Collection. That's the packaging there. So the Vivid Collection is an orange casing. And this is in the color 875 Vivid Rose. It's like a reddish pink, but comes up more pink. And then 860 Pink Pop. Looks like that's like a Barbie pink, which is super pretty. And then the last one of Maybelline is 870 Shocking Coral, which is just a bright coral color, which is stunning. I love it. I'm super excited for spring and summer to wear all these colors. 
that's why I kind of went crazy with the lipsticks in this video. The next one is by CoverGirl. It's 365 Enhanced Tree Blush. And it's a Barbie kind of looking pink. I'm wearing it on my lips today. I love it. And then the last two are from L'Oreal. And that's what they look like. And this one is in Pink Vinyl 183. Looks like that. And this one is 170 Cotton Pink. And that's what that looks like. So that's everything from shoppers. Now moving on to Walmart, I'm gonna start off with two mascaras. The first one being an oldie but a goodie. It's by L'Oreal, it's one of my favorite mascaras that I've used since like elementary school. And it's a L'Oreal Voluminous, so that's it there. I usually get it in either black or blackest black. And the brush I use, I like to get, is the curved brush, just because it's better to get under your lashes. And I like just the way the applicator works better like that um, the product is amazing it really gives volume to your lashes so the second mascara is covergirl it is a full lash bloom i bought this product because i've seen the previews with katy perry in it and it kind of sold me to wanting to buy it just because her lashes looked good but again don't kid yourself when you see these commercials just because they do use false lashes to show you what the mascara can do. So just be aware, like, don't fall for the advertising because sometimes when you buy it, your lashes don't turn the way you think it's gonna be because of the commercial. But this mascara is actually really, really good. It does give you that falsy look, which I do love. And that's the brush there. It has like long bristles and then in between the long bristles are like really short bristles. So it really gets in there really well. And this is in the color black as well. Okay, moving on to two lip liner, uh, lip liners, liquid liners. Um, they're from Wet n Wild. It's their Mega Liners, and I got two colors. And this color is Turquoise 863, and this one is 862A. So the Turquoise, the brushes look the same. They're very thin, so they're good to work with to get that thin liner look. Just looks like that. I love the colors. They're so bright and fun and summery and then this is indigo blue and it looks like that and the other product i got from walmart was from also wet and wild and it is their lipstick 969 24 karat gold or 24 carats it literally looks like the color of a carrot it swatches to be the exact color of a carrot and everything like it's really pretty especially for a summertime and that nice tan beautiful next thing is the 9-in-1 instant skin enhancer and it is the covergirl bb cream i got it in the color 710 light to medium it's a really good cream it's a tinted it's also a tinted moisturizer which is really nice and um, gives you natural looking radiance sheer color all day hydration improves skin elasticity blends effortlessly lightweight helps skin feel smooth covers to help instantly improve skin's appearance won't clog pores Pretty much whatever it says on the back is true. I don't know about the skin elasticity, but it does blend effortlessly. It is hydrating, it is sheer, it's a natural looking radiance, and it is lightweight, which I do like. And last but not least are four products from Milani. Milani. And I love, 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 love this brand. I just started using it. I've been going crazy looking for it and everything like that. So I finally found it at a Walmart. And this is the first one. This is their uh, number five coral cove. It's beautiful. It's like a rosy pattern on it. It's so pretty. They're so pigmented. They're absolutely gorgeous. And then the next one is one of their baked blushes. And this is in Barry Amore, number three. So that's how that looks. And then underneath it comes with like a little mirror and it comes with like a little brush, which is cute. And then one of the lipsticks I got is number 14, Rose Hip. And it's a really vibrant fuchsia-y pink, which is stunning. These are so moisturizing to your lips, and they're so long-lasting and so buttery feeling, and they smell really good. And this is 27 Dolce Carmelo, which I love. And it's a sheer brown. 
Like, it looks perfect with, like, the Makeup Forever 3C lip liner to go with it. It's absolutely stunning. So that's everything I have purchased within the last two weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. If you think I should try any other products, please like, uh, comment down below, and I definitely will try them. And just let me know which video you guys want to see next. Thanks for watching. Bye. So golden, but until the gates are open, I just wanna.